So as soon as I go back to EU4, now y'all want to bring out the good mods. I didn't see anything interesting for months in this game, but then I stumbled upon the UK and Asia, and now this, which you might not have noticed anything right now, but Denmark is looking dummy thick. And that's because Denmark is actually Korea. I don't know why. Denmark is still in this game though, don't be worried. The Danish are safely over here in East Asia, where Korea would be. I'm getting a little worried, like it's kind of disturbing, the people that are coming up with these ideas. I am pretty sure there is no one in human history that has ever asked, what if Denmark and Korea switch places? But we're gonna find out today, why not? The Koreans are actually bringing over a lot more provinces to Europe, but will they be able to keep up with these places over in this continent? I don't know, they're also bringing over all their other things like Confucianism and uh, their other like technology groups. Same thing goes for Denmark, except uh, they're not gonna have their buddies in the north. Usually Norway and Sweden can sometimes bail them out. I, they're actually usually fighting a, a lot with them, but uh, yeah, no, they gotta worry about Big Bad Ming now. So who's gonna do better in their new spot? Will it be Legoland or K-pop land? And are they gonna switch those? Do, do we have to worry about D-pop now? I don't even want to know what that'd be like. As I said, Sweden and Norway are going to be able to have, I guess, a lot more freedom. They don't got to worry about, like, an overlord. Uh, are they going to like their new neighbor, too? Because I doubt it. Denmark has at least one buddy over this way. We'll see how long that lasts. But they do need to get it together. Because we know about the Japanese. You might... You might get subjugated, like, real soon. Korea should maybe just join the Holy Roman Empire. That might not be a bad idea if they let him in. Wait, I don't think they can get let in, right? I don't... No. Also, the whole, like, uh, what, Re Reformation, Protestant Uprising, that's gonna be a little weird. I don't know why I'm just a really big fan of mods that, like, take entire regions and just throw them in a different place. Or swap them in a different place. I don't really like when they remove areas. That's not as fun, I guess. This stuff, I, I will be playing this all day if I keep seeing mods like this. Now, if you don't know how to play EU4, like me, uh, I do want to point out that it looks like they added straight crossings, which means that regiments will just be able to walk across. They also still have this Danish island out here, which might be beneficial. These crossings are going to make a big difference. Same goes for Korea. So they won't technically need like a massive navy to launch an assault on any of the other Nordic countries. Is Korea not a Nordic country? That's a weird thought. Wow. And just like that, the Danish have now grabbed Chinese provinces and whatever this was before. How do they do? So they integrated their homie. I guess they don't have any more friends, but uh, that was fast. Oh, nice. And somehow they're allied to Norway. All the way across the other side of the world. There's no way you can even see Norway. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Ooh, and Korea got some real good friends. Novgorod and England. Okay, so they're they're doing just fine. They're going to have a good time right this way. They also got a couple tributary states. I totally forgot about that. Um, so they're going to be, I guess, vassalizing or kind of a lot of members of the HRE. How did they get that already? That is really fat. Okay, so we might see really good games from both of these countries. As for the rest of the world, we've got the Ottomans surrounding Serbia. I think they're at war with Hungary. France has kicked out England from Concept of Europe, and I'm sure Iberian stuff is happening. Oh, Ming ain't looking that good. Maybe that's why the Danish were able to take some stuff away, because this is all they got? Why are they... They don't... They actually yeah, have, like, so many friends by now. What's going on? Oh, and I almost missed the fact that the Norwegians got Scotland. That is pretty cool. Now, they're not going to keep that. They're likely gonna get kicked out. They're definitely gonna get kicked out, but it's nice. What? Are you kidding me? I just came back. This is 60 years later, and they're already looking like a crazy Viking empire. I mean, part of this is happening because Ming exploded. I know some of you are saying that your Ming doesn't explode this much. My Ming explodes all the time. I don't know why that's happening, and Korean Legoland is doing almost just as well. So they did take out Norway, well, Norway was probably having some trouble. Oh, that's why they allied to each other. England, are they still friends? Yeah, that seems like a smart idea. So, I guess go grab Iceland now. Dang, and real quick, just look at this burgundy. That is one thick burgundy. Uh, France might need to kind of worry. And I have no idea how Aragon got this random province in Castile. Not that it's going to matter either way when Spain forms, but that's interesting. Okay, but I'm starting to realize that Denmark might be terrifying because uh, this is only going to continue to happen. It's going to get worse and worse, and... Uh, they could really just steal all this stuff away, especially if there's just a bunch of small states here. I don't know. I mean, do you have a lot of friends? Kind of, but they're nowhere close to you. I don't know why you're friends with Norway and now someone from India. Oh, no. So they're already out here grabbing small coastal provinces. They're about to colonize everything. Are they in Africa yet? That'd be way too early. They are. They're 
there in Madagascar. This is getting ridiculous. We also, of course, got some colonization happening, which sometimes can be kind of repetitive, but this is looking weird because Spain's not in South America yet. Spain's in the Caribbean, but not anywhere else, and that's odd. Also, Norway, who's struggling, did make it over to Canada, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, and also even more tributary states for Korea. So this is great, because they're getting like a nice buffer zone. I don't know how they're able to do this, but let's see if they just keep it up. Can they do it to Sweden? I think Sweden's too big. D-pop music seems to be really popular now in this part of Asia. They're only getting bigger and bigger. Also, Ming has completely collapsed, so that could be a bad sign. If everything goes their way, I guess they could just take over all of Asia. That's what it's looking like. As long as nothing bad happens, if, if they remain lucky, everything should be fine. Break a leg out there, guys. Ah uh, ha ha. I hate myself. Well, the Koreans are just continuing to chip away at the Norwegians. They're almost completely kicked out. They might be banished to Iceland or Canada. Also, Great Britain has formed. They're looking pretty unified. Spain has joined the game, and they were able to keep a lot of southern Italy, so that's pretty bad, especially for France, because France still hasn't taken out Burgundy yet, and it's been like at least 100 years. Muscovy is looking like they're about to form Russia too, unless we get some like Swedish Great Northern War that, that could stop them. I don't know if they, yeah, they look like they're gonna do it. Denmark's gotta be careful though, because Japan is about to end their like little warring states period. The battle royale is ending, and uh, at that point, I don't know what's gonna happen. These two reds are too similar, so it might be a little confusing. Oh yeah, because this stuff is Japanese territory. I thought the Danish were up here already colonizing this stuff. Nope. As for the West, Portugal is still the only major colonizer in South America. I guess France is here a little bit too. Spain not doing much at all. They're just chilling on these islands. Portugal's even got Portuguese, Mexico, and new Portugal, Florida. How's Vinland doing? Vinland's okay. Oh, and in terms of beliefs, it's getting real messy over here. Very messy. All of this and then just random Confucianism. <laughs> okay, they're holding strong though. By the way, are you spreading that over here? Kind of. Catholicism just doing a little bit, I guess. And then of course there's culture we got to look at, which I don't think there's gonna be much change, but Danish Asians would be quite the sight to see. Another century has passed and Norway no longer exists, as well as Sweden barely exists. The Livonian Order, geez, this might be their best game yet. Ah, and Burgundy finally fell, kind of. That's a pretty early Netherlands. Great, they can spread their sea and weed. Again, the Muggles rising up, taking back the wizarding world. Took me a while to remember exactly what the, the Muggles were. They're not wizards, they're trying to beat the wizards. I don't know, also I need to check like what Denmark is doing in terms of trade provinces. Well, first of all, there hasn't been as much growth in these last couple generations. I mean, there's still a little bit, they're just colonizing Siberia since I guess Russia's not gonna do that. Maybe they're not gonna form, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what they're doing. I think they're gonna start to focus on the Philippines, it looks like. That's really their only place and they might take some stuff away. Anything else in Africa? Oh, wow. Port oh, that, they're friends with- okay, uh, never mind, I was confused. Very unique group of friends, to be honest. I don't know how or why you got these, but I'll take that. Oddly, no one really hates Denmark, besides kind of Mongolia, which is a scary rivalry. Imagine just Vikings and the Mongolian horde going at it. Portugal's just dominating over here, and I don't even know why. Because Spain is doing amazing, they're just choosing not to colonize. Is Spain in Africa? Spanish Africa? Kind of, but- not that much. Who could have seen this coming? Revolutionary France. Now, kind of a thing, which means they're gonna get surrounded by all sides. Everyone's gonna try to take them out, so they're not gonna last. Korea hasn't done too much in the way of, like, taking more of Scandinavia, and the Livonian Order still here even more. Commonwealth have taken out Muscovy, so yeah, Russia's definitely not doing anything, but that's not good. The Koreans needed to have a bit more progress if I think they wanted to win this game. I was gonna say, did you join the HRE? But no, I see the Commonwealth did. That, I, I don't even know what to say. So technically speaking, this is just one massive country. This is just one huge country for lazy mappers in the future that aren't gonna wanna actually, you know, show each and every province. Denmark, on the other hand, is uh, kinda in the same spot. So definitely they've slowed down in terms of their progress. Mongolia getting bigger, they gotta worry about this. Also Japan is united, and wait a second, is that? Yeah, the Danish did make it into Japanese mainland that didn't imagine a reverse invasion, but that's cool. We also once again have the Egyptians racing for the deadly desert continent, which makes a lot of sense. They want to build a bunch more pyramids and sandy areas. Also Spanish Netherlands and like a lot of Spanish Indonesian territory. Oh, oh yeah, so they're also over here, Mamluk and 
Malaya. The Ottomans haven't quite collapsed yet, which is a little surprising. Usually when you see a thick commonwealth like this, which we kind of see all the time, uh, they completely fall apart, but not yet. Denmark has just completed their furthest colony yet, and no, it's not in the Western Hemisphere. It's out here in Africa. Don't know why. I mean, maybe everything in, in like North America was eaten up, but okay, well, at least I got this. Oh yeah, the New Worlds is definitely all filled up, which of course, because Portugal was kind of the only one that came over here, they lost all their colonies. They lost a lot. Chile, Brazil, Mexico. I, they got Portuguese Louisiana. That's kind of good. That's a big sexy Vinland. And then we have the 13 colonies. So maybe we'll see the USA. Also uh, uh, Pacifico Norte. So this is really all Spain has and the stuff in the Caribbean. A lot of time's gone by and revolutionary France is still just chilling. That's amazing. Also, Netherlands looking good. Swiss are looking good. They still kept this province in Iberia. I don't know how they did that. I guess we could say the same for Spain. They haven't done as much movement either. They still have a lot of southern Italy. By now, they almost always lose it. So that's kind of crazy. And I think we can finally start to say that the Korean Lego train kind of starting to come to a halt. They aren't doing much. I mean, they might even lose Iceland. I don't know what type of rebels those are. But yeah, they're not doing anything else. And the Livonian Order is really starting to outshine them. India is just a mess as the British are taking over. They're getting British Raj ready. Also, there's British Burma and a couple others. We got Portugal over here and the Egyptians in China. That is a new one. But Denmark might be able to do like a reverse Russia because that's kind of what it seems like. They grabbed Siberia first and now if they can just make it past the Uzbek, but then they'd get close to the Commonwealth. You definitely don't want to be close to the Commonwealth. French colonies are now getting pushed out by Brazil and a little bit of Chile, not too much. So they're not really going to have anything. And uh, uh, yeah, I guess all the rest is still the same. Denmark has surprisingly lost their control over the Philippines. Again, because of the Mamluks. I don't know what's happening, but uh, also Ming is still alive. Had no idea Ming still survived. Looking stronger than ever too. It's kind of crazy to see the Egyptians do so well because they don't look like it. They look like they're gonna get crushed at any moment. I don't know how they're doing this. And just as I started to lose hope in Korea, they've pulled it together. I don't know why. Are they friends with the Commonwealth? Because they better be. Man, that is that is too much. Revolutionary France still survives. And uh, in terms of the HRE, it's going strong. It's going stronger than ever. And we're like in the 20th century or something like that. Ooh, that's a big, beautiful Portuguese Louisiana. I like that. I mean, it's now no longer under Portugal. They're on their own, but man, let's see if they sell this off. As the South is completely dominated by Chile. Maybe they'll take out Brazil too, and they'll just have this entire continent to themselves. Dang! All right, France. Someone's gotta stop France. They're still revolutionary, and they might have lost everything in the West, but they doing good in Africa. Oh, that's, I don't know how powerful this is really. Yeah, it's, it, this helps. Oh, the Mamluks took out the Ottomans, so now they might be okay. They're looking a, a lot more legitimate, I guess. The Muggles are, of course, now being attacked by the British, because we all know that's where the wizards are. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna last. Bengal somehow survived out of India. They had to kind of move up and adjust a bit, but we'll see, because the British might want to take them out too. I didn't even realize the Dutch are doing so well. They're like the best ones here, kind of, as well as this, like, Italian place. Is it, This is Italian, right? Austria looks almost the exact same, too. Looks like we're not gonna see a USA in this world. They are still under British control after, like, hundreds of years, but we do get to see a thick Canada. Very thick Canada. I don't know if they're gonna be the strongest in this continent, though, because they're competing with a lot. Mexico is actually probably stronger, a lot stronger. And then they gotta worry about this stuff in the south, which, yeah, Brazil is getting eaten up. You might notice the lack of French stuff in Africa, like, just like that. And the reason is because France is getting mauled from all sides. It's the Hundred Years' War all over again. They really held on to that grudge. Spain decided to just finally take out Portugal, because why not? And uh, that might be it for them. They might literally win just because they kept this stuff and this alone. Is that enough? It might be. British France is kind of under siege, though, by both the French and the Dutch, which the Dutch only continue to grow. And uh, in terms of, yeah, this is, this is still ridiculous. British Raj looks perfect. This is exactly what, this is crazy accurate. Uh, you also have a couple ports from the Egyptians though, which they have had the most surprising game yet. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. That, <laughs> that is one of a kind. Did they take New Zealand? No. So Spain held on to New Zealand. It doesn't matter. Did they they might've won this game. I can't believe that. It doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter because here's the moment of truth. Who did better? Again, Depop or Korean Legoland. Oh, that is looking pretty even. Korea almost was able to become, I, this horde is really 
giving him trouble, but they could have become Russia. Maybe they might be fighting against each other too. I almost completely missed the fact that Denmark took over all of Japan. Okay, they, they definitely won. I'm sorry, Korea, but sh no, you guys don't even stand a chance. Oh wow, and they're actually at war. There's like a big old world war going on. So Denmark is allied to the British now and Korea is allied to the Netherlands. Oh, that's the blue actually. Wow, that, yeah, we got like World War Seven going on. Here are all the beliefs of the world, which I think is gonna be really interesting. Kind of weird that Korea didn't change at all. They just kept it right at home and they let everyone else do their own thing. Kind of like a, a Kong, a Genghis Khan horde, right? Is that where they got their inspiration? The same cannot be said for Denmark though. And that's partly because they actually colonized this stuff so it's a little bit easier. But then again, this is not normal, is it? Pretty sure Japan shouldn't be Catholic right now, but all right. As for the rest of the world, it's um kind of what you'd expect. Kind of, although over here is definitely a bit different. What about in the West? Wow, that's pretty, pretty one-sided. Holy Roman Empire stayed the exact same, didn't move at all, and I guess why would it when you have the Commonwealth just bulldozing over people? And culturally, things are about what you'd expect too. Not too crazy. Uh, Korea or Denmark didn't, well, Denmark spread it a little bit this way. Korea's the same. I, yeah, all this stuff like Norwegian, the New World's, Interesting, we do have like American culture, Norwegian, French, lots is Portugal obviously because they started this stuff, but yeah. Here we go, let's see who won, Denmark or Korea, but first, they clearly didn't win the game. The Mamluks won the game, Egypt, that might be the best game we've ever seen for them. I, I don't know why they kept colonizing, that was just amazing. It's kind of close though, then the British, Spain, Mexico, Commonwealth are actually really low. Why are they so low for being that thick? Boom, the Danish have just barely squeaked, well not barely, but they're in seventh. Korea is an eighth. There's a lot of points though. There's a big point difference. E either way, right next to each other, not bad. Maybe they should think about doing this switch in real life too. So you're welcome for bringing this to the world's attention. Denmark and Korea swapped is uh, a new brain pathway that I've probably unlocked for all of you. So thank you. I I the modder actually locked this. So hopefully we keep bringing this stuff. I love it. My legs broke. I can't really do much. So you might see a lot of videos in the next coming weeks. That's just I'm, I'm gonna be bored, so I got nothing better to do. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to the patrons. Ballin likes Stalin. Birthday Daddy. LPC. Elijah Senpai. Bruce Rickation. Swiss Argo. Maxi G. Lol ben Knight, Moke. Galley. Free Cruise. Mr. Perkelly. Cooter Donkey. Brendan Hinkle. Alfonso M6. Militime. Chewy Long Dong. Double Books. My main man Manny. Mega Fat Boy 2.0. The Hentai Lover. Geek Colony Sutter. And Sleeper 56.